Hi, I'm Phil with RightRope.com. One of the most common types of rope we sell is three-strand twisted rope, and many people would like to have an eye spliced on the end of it. We're going to show you today how we splice three-strand twisted rope, and you're welcome to splice your own rope. However, we are making a little disclaimer. This is not an instructional video. This is an educational, informational video. If you do choose to splice your own rope, make sure that you consult a reputable manufacturer's instructions. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a piece of half inch diameter pro manila rope. Synthetic ropes, we typically do five full sets of tucks and natural fiber ropes, we do three full sets of tucks. And uh, basically one full set of tucks is all three strands braiding back into the rope one time. I'll show you what that means a little bit more here in a second. The first thing we're going to do, this is synthetic rope, so we're doing five full sets of tucks. We're going to count out 15 of these crowns or picks from the end and then put a piece of tape. Put a piece of tape around right here. We count 15 because we need three full sets of tucks, or I'm sorry, five full sets of tucks with all three strands. The next thing we wanna do is determine the size of the eye we're going to make. Uh, you can make an eye as small or as big as you want to. We're just gonna kinda of pick an arbitrary spot and we're gonna put a second piece of tape there. You don't necessarily have to do these pieces of tape like I'm doing, it's just uh, helpful to understand the process here. Okay, so that's gonna be our crossover point. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is de-strand these three strands here from the end. And uh, we're going to put a piece of tape on each one individually, and we're gonna color code the tape just to make it a little easier to tell what we're doing when. So all three strands de-stranded. You're gonna end up with uh, a left, a right, and a center. So we're gonna split them apart a little bit like this. We're gonna call this the left, this the center, and this the right. And I'm just gonna use different colors of tape. Um, we'll just start with brown. Tape up the ends good to keep them held together. Um, if you're using a synthetic rope, uh, we typically hot cut all our synthetic ropes so the ends are melted. That's probably good enough. But for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, tape them up a bit so you can tell which one's which as we're passing them through. So here's our center strand, it's gonna be black. And our furthest right strand will be white. We've got left, center, and right. We're going to start with the center strand. We bring this end of the rope over up on top of this one. And this center strand is going to pass underneath the first pick past the tape. So basically we're gonna open this up a little bit and basically start to braid the rope back through. So we're gonna open it up and send that center strand right underneath that pick, that first pick. Pull it all the way up almost tight and there's kind of a natural spot where it likes to lay right in the curve of that rope. Um, the further left strand in this case was the brown strand. We're going to bring that up and over and we're going to go underneath the next strand over here. So this one went underneath this strand. The further left strand needs to go underneath this strand. So we're going to open up the rope and pass that one underneath there. Okay, so there's the first two. The third strand, or the furthest right strand, we're gonna flip the rope over and go underneath the strand that we have not gone underneath yet. So this one right here was that furthest left strand. This furthest right strand is gonna go right here underneath this one. I'll show you why that matters in a second. This part, you really need to make sure that you get right. It's kind of easy to mess this part up, but once you get all three strands through, that is considered your first set of tucks. And these three strands should all be going in different directions, like so. Okay, that's the first set. You wanna make sure you twist these fibers just so they stay looking nice, the direction that they need to go. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing again. 
Um, we'll just for ease of demonstration, I'll start with the same one again. We'll start with the center strand was this black one here. And we're gonna go over top of this strand and then underneath the next strand. And this is gonna be the same for all of these, but basically we're gonna go over and under uh, with each new set of tucks here. So over top of that one and underneath that one. Okay, making sure we twist these fibers so they stay looking nice. We'll go further left here. We're gonna go over top of this one and underneath the next one. You gotta kind of make sure that you're always going underneath the rope picks on the standing end of the rope, not braiding it through with the same ones that you've been using. Uh, the next one is gonna go over top of this and underneath this. And then basically you continue that pattern. This is our second full set of tucks. I'm keeping these nice and twisted. And then we wanna start pulling on this a little bit to make sure everything's adjusted. There's two complete sets of tucks. And we're gonna do three more here. So we'll start back with this first one we were doing, this black one. Go over top and underneath. Then the brown one, over top, underneath. And the white one, over top, underneath. Okay. Keeping these all looking nice. Pull on it, make sure it's all adjusted well. Okay, I think that was three full sets of tucks. We're gonna do two more. Start with the black one again. Go over top, underneath. Then the brown one, over top, underneath. Over top, underneath. Okay, that's four. Just try to make everything look nice if you can. And the fifth set of tucks, same thing, one last time here. You can go over top and underneath. underneath and over top and underneath. Okay, so there's five complete sets of tucks. This is enough. Um, and then what you can do is go ahead and tape up these ends uh, real close to the rope and cut them off. Uh, try to melt them if you can so they don't come unraveled. Uh, or you can go ahead and just continue to bury. Uh, you could do one more set of tucks if you want and just bury them. I'll just do that. Um, I don't have a cutting tool here with me. So this last one. Just like that. Those are all properly buried. They still probably should be cut off a little bit just so it looks nice. Uh, but that's it. That's the three strand ice place. Make sure everything is lined up twisted nicely, make sure it does what it's supposed to do. There you have it, three strand eye splice. That's how we do a three strand eye splice. Let us know if you have any questions. We do offer splicing as a service on our website, rightrope.com. And uh, like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos every week about all things rope. We wanna get you the right rope at the right price.